soup from a sausage peg. Every year, King Francis of the powerful kingdom of Red Lake would host a royal banquet for all kings and noblemen of ten kingdoms around. This year, he wished to have his son engaged to one of the princesses who came to the banquet. But the prince himself was in love with the daughter of the royal chef, and he wanted the world to see how wise and smart she was. Marie, I ask you again, will you marry me? You are a prince, your highness, and you must only marry a princess. No, I mustn't. I cannot imagine marrying a woman who cannot even wear her own shoes without ten servants helping her. A kingdom does not need pompousness like that. It needs a queen who is wise and smart. The princesses are already here, and the king wishes you to marry one of them. I know of a way out. Marie, do you know what it means to make soup out of a sausage peg? Making soup out of a sausage peg is a Danish saying. It means nothing and everything. It is impossible to make soup out of a sausage peg. So, when someone makes soup from a sausage peg, it means they are being unreasonable, either overreacting or demanding too much. On the other hand, if someone does manage to make soup out of a sausage peg, it also means that they have managed to accomplish something really difficult or something that is regarded impossible. Exactly. That night, as everyone gathered for the royal banquet, the king announced. I wish to make an announcement. As you see, my son has grown up to be a fine man, a handsome prince, adept at affairs of governance, swordsmanship, and law. It is time he was married to a princess who would one day be the Queen of Red Lake. True indeed. Tell us, Prince of Red Lake, how you will decide on who you choose to marry. I think a queen represents the future of the entire kingdom. Hence, she must be independent, wise, and tactful. Yes! Yes, we, we agree! We agree! Yes, we agree. So, if you do not mind, let there be a small contest among the ladies who wish to participate. I shall marry the lady who will bring the recipe and cook soup out of a sausage peg. How does one make soup out of a sausage peg? It will taste horrible. And probably even be unhealthy. And how will my poor daughter make soup? She is a princess. But if that is the condition, so be it. We are princesses. We can get anything done. That is true. So be it. 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 There were three princesses who decided to participate in the contest. The first princess got a gigantic sausage peg made and traveled far and wide, taking with her a great entourage of guards and helpers to get the recipe of the soup. One night, she found herself in a forest. Her guards built a camp for her. But early in the morning, she was woken with some giggles. She went to the window. She saw nymphs emerging from the flowers. They seemed to be discussing something. She took the sausage peg and went out to meet them. Wow! Who are you? What are you doing? Hi, is that a sausage peg you have? Yes. It is huge. Never seen a bigger peg. It is just the thing we were looking for. Can we borrow it for a few minutes? Sure. The nymphs flew high up in the sky, wrapped the light of the sun around the peg, and created a shower of dewdrops on all the leaves and flowers. After that, they came back to return the peg to the princess. Thank you so much, princess. Uh, could you help me with something? What is it? 
I am looking for the recipe of soup from a sausage peg. We just did that, princess. We just made soup out of a sausage peg. We don't know how else to make it, but here, you might like this. The first princess went back to the prince with the peg. They could not tell me how to cook soup from a sausage peg, but they gave me this. I am allergic to violets. I am sorry. <clears throat> I guess it is time the next contestant tried. So now the second princess tried. She went to her wise grandmother for advice. Soup from a sausage peg, is it? To prepare that, you must seek wisdom, fuel it with imagination, and express it with the heart of a poet. Hmm. Seek wisdom, fuel it with imagination, and express it with the heart of a poet. Okay, I am a princess. I can do that. The princess did not get at all what her grandmother had said. She gathered all the scholars and painters and poets of her kingdom in a great entourage and went to the prince. Your Highness, I have got the secret of preparing a soup with a sausage peg. Really? All it takes to cook a soup from a sausage peg is to gather wisdom, fuel it with imagination, and express it with the heart of a poet. Here are all the scholars of my kingdom for wisdom, painters for imagination, and poets to express. Uh, princess, the contest was for you, uh, not for the scholars and painters and poets of your kingdom. But. Your Highness, I am a princess, and a princess never does anything on her own. I think it is time for the third contestant, sire. So now the third princess decided to try her luck. She traveled far into the kingdom. One day she came to a village, and she heard some noises, as though a couple of children were fighting. I'll be the first to pick it up. I saw it first. No, I did. I'll hold it first. How does it matter who saw it first? Just go inside and get a bowl of milk for this little pup. Stop making soup out of a sausage peg. Oh, soup out of a sausage peg. Excuse me, lady. Yes. Could you give me the recipe of soup from a sausage peg? Recipe? Yes, I am a princess. I shall reward you handsomely if you give me the recipe, please. There is no such thing as soup made of a sausage peg. But you just... Making soup out of a sausage peg is a Danish saying, which means either being silly and unreasonable or accomplishing something impossible. Ah, oh, so there is no actual soup that could be cooked out of a sausage peg? No, Your Highness. Oh! The princess went back to the court and related everything. So you see, Your Highness, there is no such soup that can be made out of a sausage peg. This is atrocious. You made our daughter struggle for nothing? How dare you treat our precious princesses so? My poor daughter traveled all over the kingdom to get you the recipe. Yes, with a hundred servants. Only a hundred servants? My poor thing! And this was all for nothing? We will avenge this insult, we will. There will be war! Yes, there will be war! There will be war! Yes, there will be war! There will be war! Yes, there will be war! Wait, Your Highnesses! There is a soup that can be made out of sausage pegs! Really? Yes! Show us! 
And we won't believe it till we have tasted it. Very well, Your Highness. Bring it in. Thank you. So this special soup has three ingredients. First, we take water and really have it boil. Then, we put in the sausage pegs. Of course, since it is the most important ingredient. And then, there is the third and the last special thing we need. What is it? It is the reason why this recipe is not known widely. What is it? The molten gold of three royal crowns. What? Yes. This very special soup cannot be prepared without it. Don't you want to taste it, Your Highness? Now, the kings and queens were worried. It is a matter of great embarrassment for a king to remove his crown. But then, they were the ones who had asked for proof that such a soup exists. And they had wanted to taste it. Suddenly, one of the kings thought of an idea. He got up and said, with all the pompousness he could muster, uh, well, taste in the soup will amount to dishonoring our host, His Royal Highness, the King of Red Lake. And our royal high culture will never permit it. So, we believe the soup exists, and we agree that it must be delicious, but we do not wish to taste it. So, you do not need to cook it. Yes, we do not wish to taste it. Yes, we do not wish to taste it. Very well then. I think it is only fair that this maiden who finally succeeded in bringing the recipe of the soup from a sausage peg to us deserves to be declared as the winner of the contest. Yes, we agree. Yes, we agree. Lady, would you agree to marry my son, the Prince of Red Lake? I agree, Your Highness. In this way, Marie used her tactfulness to save all four kingdoms from a deadly war. She saved the kingdoms from making soup out of a sausage peg. She and the prince were married and ruled their kingdom with wisdom and compassion.